Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to go over my recommendations for best SNES emulators on Android for August 2017. Let's get started. One of my favorite things about SNES emulators on Android is that they don't necessarily need a heavy duty, newest, fastest phone or tablet out there in order to run them. So a lot of these emulators should work on fairly old and slower hardware, and that's one thing that's great. These should work on a wide variety of devices. So before I do get into this, I'll just let you know, try out these emulators first on your phone, see which one works best, and then go from there. They do perform slightly different on different models of phones. Nothing's perfect out there, so if one works better than another, just use whatever one works better, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So let's get started on this. My ultimate recommendation here is the John SNES emulator. There are two versions, the free and paid version for this emulator. It works amazingly. It works very, very well with a Bluetooth controller. It works very well on multiple devices I've tried it on, and it is my favorite SNES emulator. They make a very high quality NES emulator as well, and the SNES follows suit to that. So this emulator is very popular. It's updated very frequently. It works on a number of devices. It works very well with Bluetooth controllers. The interface, so all the, all the buttons, all of the menus are very, very clean and straightforward. And this emulator requires very little configuration in order to get working correctly. Most, most people should be able just to open it up and use it and that's it. However, if you've got a Bluetooth controller, you can actually save different configurations. You can configure the buttons to do different things, which you can on most emulators, but this one I find just works very, very well most of the time. I actually haven't really had issues with it crashing or anything else like that. It is great. So the paid version of this app is, I believe, yeah, there it is, $2.99, and this I think is an American price. I think it's $3.99 in Canada. And before you get the paid version, check out the free version first. If it works well, then jump to the paid version. Uh, the paid version does not have ads. The, the free version has ads. I find the ads get a little um, cumbersome after a while, and that's why I personally upgrade to the paid version, just to avoid the ads and also to, sp to support the developer. So. This one is a very high rated emulator. The last time it was updated, I believe it was a month ago. We'll scroll down here. Yes, July 6, 2017. So just a month ago was the last time this was updated. And you can see what's new here in version 3.56. They added reverse landscape orientation as well as fixed bugs. So the developer of this app is usually pretty on the ball in, in order to fix bugs in order to improve the, the actual app itself, which makes this my favorite SNES emulator. My second recommendation for SNES emulators is SNES 9X EX Plus. Now, this emulator itself works very, very well. If John SNES, for some reason, does not work on your phone or tablet, then take a look at SNES 9X EX Plus. Now, I will say this used to be one of my favorites, then I noticed some input lag, so there was a delay when I pressed the button on a Bluetooth controller to when this emulator would actually register the input from the button press. So I'd press the button and then there would be a very, very tiny time difference between my button press and when, for example, Mario jumps. And one thing I've noticed with this one as well is that it's actually not updated very often at all. So support for this emulator seems to be uh, going the way of the dodo. It's dying off um, just by the overall uh, last update information here. So the last time it was updated was actually over a year ago. Now, I will say that this is probably the most popular emulator right now on Android but I don't see it going that way in the future, especially if it's not being updated. So this is a very solid emulator. It works very well. I found there is a bit of input lag with a Bluetooth controller, and that was actually with multiple Bluetooth controllers I tried. It wasn't just one controller. It wasn't an isolated incident. It happened on multiple devices with multiple Bluetooth controllers. 
So your experience may differ, but I'm just saying this emulator works very, very well. However, I found there was a bit of a delay using a Bluetooth controller. That being said, if John SNES does not work for some reason, definitely give this one a shot. It's not terrible. It's actually pretty good. And my last recommendation is for the tech savvy person out here. Uh, it is called RetroArch. So this emulator works very, very well once it's configured properly. This emulator takes a little bit to configure properly and there is a little bit of technical knowledge required in order to get it set up working correctly. It will take a little bit of time. It does not work out of the box. So you can't just download this one and play. You do have to spend time configuring it. When it's configured, it works very, very well. So RetroArch, definitely for the technical person, it is also a all-in-one emulator, so you can emulate multiple systems using this emulator. However, I personally use John SNES. So my recommendations are first and foremost, John SNES. If that doesn't work, try SNES 9X EX Plus. And then lastly, for the technical savvy person, if you want an all-in-one solution, try out RetroArch. All right, that's all I've got for today. Thank you everyone. Be sure to check out my other videos on Android emulators and just my other videos in general. Hit that subscribe button and Talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.